What it is, what it ain't, what it's been, Yaga Crew. It's your girl, Tanira Yaga. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you are new. So, let's get right into it. As you can see by the title below, I will be doing a tattoo and piercings tour. I just want to make y'all aware I plan on getting some more tattoos, but I felt like I have quite a few, so why not try it? So, let's... I don't know what I'm trying to say. So, let's start off with my first tattoo that I've ever got. I was 14 years old. I was in the ninth grade with my basketball team after school. Backstory, real quick. One of my teammates came in. She had a tattoo on her wrist. And this was around the time when we used to wear the bangles and stuff like that. And she had to take her bangles and stuff off for the basketball practice. And we see her tattoo. We was like, oh, shit, you got a tattoo? She was like, yeah, girl. Yeah, I got a tattoo right up the street. Da, 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 da. Five, mind you, next day, we all agreed that we was all going to get a tattoo as a basketball team. So, boom, I came up with this. Star. Because, you know, I'm a star. Period. So, that's why I got this. I was 14 years old. I had to get this done over twice. My first time I got it done by like the second year, it was like green and like faded out. And then I got it done at the tattoo convention and it faded out a little bit and I wanted it a little bit darker so I got it done over again. So yeah, but when I was younger, I used to hide it from my mother like that. When I used to be like around that, I would be like this, or I had my hands in my lap, or be like this. Like it was just multiple ways. Like I felt like I was genius thinking of putting a tattoo in my hand at 14. Like so, my next tattoo, I was like, it's, I was still in high school. I don't remember how old I was, but okay. So this is my second tattoo. I was still in high school when I got this. This is supposed to be butterflies, and I do not like it. I want to get it covered up so bad. But yeah, this was my second tattoo that I got. So let's get into the details of this one. This one is on the left side of my hip. And I feel like this one represents me the most. I feel like it's bold, it's delicate, and it's still colorful, but not too much. It's like the perfect like statement. And I feel like it's it represents me perfectly. So next is the top left of my shoulder. And I really love this tattoo mainly because of the watercolor and I feel like it's so different. You don't really see a lot of people with watercolor tattoos. And you really don't see a lot of people with colorful tattoos. It's starting to become a trend now, but back then when I first got this tattoo, I was 21. So yeah, it really wasn't popular to get um, color in your tattoos. It was like the girls getting the bow ties with the cheetah print or the cheetah print leg tattoos and stuff like that. So I wanted to do something different and also something that had some meaning. So this on the top part of my left shoulder is the Day of the Dead and it's in representation of all of my family members that have passed. And yes, it's beautiful, the watercolor. And I've had this for a minute now and I want to go back and get it touched up so it could be even more vibrant and I do take care of my tattoos. So, yeah. Alright. So I did my three quarter length sleeve in two parts. I didn't do it all in one shot. I didn't, I did it in two parts. The left side of my arm that I wanna get into is the Phoenix. Starting from here, working its way around. It's feathers coming up. And then I'm gonna put the meaning of a Phoenix right here. For the people that don't know, I felt like that was a good representation of myself as well. Next, I want to get into one of my most painful tattoos that I had. So I feel like my most painful tattoo is the one that I got in my hand. And I got this one done at three different ages and the pain was horrible on all three times. So. Yeah, this one was the most painful tattoo. This one on my elbow is my second most painful tattoo, and this is a rose, and this represents my sister. Her middle name is Rose. 
So Gianna Rose. Dude, this is one of my most favorite tattoos. And this is my father's name. This is the only name I plan on getting on my body besides my children's name. And that's why I said plan on. But it would have to be in a better way besides just, you know, a name. It would have to be in very good placement. Probably, I don't know. I don't have kids right now, so yeah. This is my father's name, Harry. H-A-R-R-Y. Is that all my tattoos? Let me pick you guys up. No, I have one more tattoo, actually. And all right, so I actually forgot about this tattoo. It was one of my last tattoos, and it's very small. I feel like that's why I forgot about it, and I can't really see it. It's behind my ear, and it says sacrifice. I'm going to insert a picture right here of what that looks like. So yeah, that concludes all of my tattoos that I have. I plan on getting more tattoos, so this is not the end of my tattoo journey. I want to extend my sleeve down to like a full sleeve, then get a tattoo on my kneecap. But I really don't know what, so that's why I haven't gotten it, and all my tattoos have meaning, so I want to stick with that. I don't want to just, you know, get a tattoo because I want a tattoo. So next we are going to hop right into my piercings. So let's get into one of the obvious ones on my ears. I have two holes. I have one hole right here and then I have one right behind it. And that's on both ears. And then I also have my tragus done on this ear. Then I have my nose pierced. And that's it. I used to have my nipples pierced, but I decided to take those out because it was just too much. The balls on the end always fell off. So like whenever I would go to like take my bra off, the ring would be like inside the cup and not in my nipple. So I just felt like it was just too much and just too much of a hassle. So I just got rid of it. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. This concludes this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's video coming out on Wednesday. See you guys. Bye.